GEMS, or commonly known as Order of Operations. Notice I have the figure of a gem. Go ahead and draw that on your paper now. Okay, in the middle title it GEMS. And there's a reason why we chose the word GEMS. G stands for grouping symbols. In grouping symbols we include braces, brackets, parentheses, and absolute value. The E stands for exponents or powers. For example, 5 squared really means 5 times 5. Or 9 to the third really means 9 times 9 times 9. The M stands for to multiply or divide. This could appear using the time symbol or the division symbol. It could appear as two values touching side by side. It could appear um, as a fraction where it has a division bar. But the key thing is, is for multiplication and division, you must work it in order from left to right. And then the S stands for to subtract or add, which means you will see either a subtraction symbol or an addition symbol. But again, the key thing is to work it in order from left to right. Example 1, the directions say to simplify. For A, we have the problem 7 plus 3 squared times 8. And so as a reminder, I'm going to write the word gems along the side to keep me in the correct order. Well, G stands for grouping symbols. Do you see any grouping symbols? No. We looked, but there was none, so we move on. Next we have an E, and E stands for exponent. Do we have any exponents? Yes. 3 squared actually means 3 times 3, so we replace that with a 9. Bring everything else down exactly as you see it. Now we look again at the problem. Are there any other exponents? No. So we move to the next level, which is the M, or multiply or divide. So looking from left to right, do you see any multiplication or division? Notice the 9 times 8 is multiplication, and so 9 times 8 is 72. Bring everything else down exactly as you see it. Now we look again from left to right. Do you see any more multiplication or division? No, so we're done with that level, leaving us with subtraction or addition. What is 7 plus 72? 79. And that would be your final simplified answer. Problem B. We have two parentheses, 8 minus 3, close parentheses, squared. So again, we write gems as our reminder, and we go in order. G stands for grouping symbols. Do we see any grouping symbols? Yes, in this case we do. And inside the parentheses we see 8 minus 3, which we know truly means 5. Bring everything else down exactly as you see it. Now within the grouping symbol, can you do anything else inside the parentheses? And no, there's just a 5. So we are officially done with the G level, or the grouping symbols, and we move on to E or for exponents. Do we have any exponents? Yes. Notice 5 has a power of 2. 5 squared really means 5 times 5, which we know to be 25. Bring everything else down exactly as you see it. Take a look again. Notice there's no more exponents, so we move on to the next level, which is multiplication or division. Because the 2 is touching the parentheses, that does imply multiplication. And so 2 times 25 is 50, which is your simplified answer. For C, we have the problem 6 minus 2 times 2 plus 2 to the 5th. Again, I write my letters for gems to remind me. 
First I look for grouping symbols and there are none. Next I look for exponents. Notice we do have an exponent that says 2 to the 5th. Now that really means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So take a moment now to find that value. Hopefully you found that value to be 32. We bring everything else down exactly as we see it. Notice there's no more exponents. So the next level is multiplication or division. Looking left to right, I do see multiplication, 2 times 2, which gives me 4. We bring everything else down exactly as we see it. We look through it again. There is no more multiplication or division, so we are done with that level, leaving us with subtraction or addition. From left to right, the first thing I notice is 6 minus 4. And 6 minus 4 is 2. And then we bring down everything else. And then the last thing we see is we have now addition. 2 plus 32 gives us 34. And that is your simplified answer. So here is your try it problems. Problems 1 and problems 2. Take a moment now to work these out. Let's see how you did. Hopefully you found 42 to be the simplified answer for number 1. And hopefully you also found 42 to be the simplified answer for number 2. If you did not get those as your solutions, please take a moment now to look at the work and see if you can find your mistake. Example 2. Simplify. For example A, I have 2, bracket, 5 plus 3, parenthesis, 9 minus 7, close parenthesis, close bracket. So again, we are still abiding by gems. And so the first thing is G, which means grouping symbol. Well, looking from left to right, the first grouping symbol you see is a bracket. Well, within the bracket, we do gems again. So inside the bracket, do you see any more grouping symbols? And we do. We now see the parentheses. So only looking inside the parentheses can we simplify that. Well, in the parentheses, you see 9 minus 7, which we know to be 2. So write a 2 and then bring everything else down exactly as you see it. Now, within the parentheses, there's nothing else for us to do, so now we zoom back out and we only look at in what's inside the brackets. Inside the brackets, do we have any exponents? In, no. And inside the brackets, do we have any multiplication or division? Yes, because the 3 is touching the parentheses that does imply multiplication. So 3 times 2 is 6 and we bring everything else down exactly as we see it. Now we're still only looking inside the brackets. We notice there's no more multiplication division, so now we look for subtraction or addition. And in the brackets you see 5 plus 6, which we know that really means 11, and we bring everything else down exactly as we see it. So within the grouping symbol, we've done as much as we possibly can. There's nothing else we can do. So now we zoom out and we look at the entire problem. And since we um, look at the entire problem, we continue with our gems. We now move to E's. Do we have any exponents? No. Do we have any multiplication or division? Yes. Since the 2 is touching the bracket, that does imply multiplication. So 2 times 11 is 22, which is your simplified answer. For b, we have 4 to the third power plus 2 times the parentheses 13 minus 10, close parentheses, minus 20. Again, I write gems as my reminder. And so first we look for grouping symbols. Do you see any grouping symbols? Notice, inside the parentheses we see 13 minus 10, which we can subtract to find that to be 3. Bring everything else down exactly as you see it. 
Now we have no other grouping symbols that we can simplify, so we move to the next level, which is exponents. And we do have an exponent of four to the third. Now four to the third really means four times four times four, which in this case gives us 64. Bringing everything else down exactly as you see it. Now notice there's no more exponents, so we move to the level of multiplication or division. And looking left to right, I do see there's a two touching the three, or touching the parenthesis, which does imply multiplication. So two times three gives us six. We bring everything else down exactly as we see it. Notice there's no more multiplication or division, so now we do subtraction or addition in order from left to right. And so 64 plus 6 does give us 70. Bring down everything else. And so now the last step comes. We have 70 minus 20, which we know really gives us 50. For problem C, we have 13 plus 3, bracket, 7 plus 2, parentheses, 11 minus 3 times 3, close parentheses, close bracket, minus 10. And so again, we are following gems. We do see grouping symbols, and the first thing you may notice is the brackets, but within the brackets, we have more grouping symbols, which are the parentheses. So only focusing inside the parentheses, we now move on in our levels of gems. In the parentheses, do you see any exponents? No. In the parentheses, do you see any multiplication or division? Yes. Three times three really is nine. And we bring everything else down exactly as we see it. Now still only looking inside the parentheses, notice we have no more multiplication division, so now we move to subtraction addition. And we know 11 take away 9 is 2. We bring everything else down exactly as we see it. Now we can do nothing else inside the parentheses, so now we move to the next grouping symbol, which is the brackets. Within the brackets, we go back through the order of gems. Do you see any exponents? No. Do you see any multiplication division? Yes. Because the 2 is touching the parentheses, that implies multiplication, and we know 2 times 2 is 4. Bring everything else down exactly as you see it. Now again, only looking inside the brackets. We have no more multiplication division, so we must move to subtraction addition. 7 plus 4 gives us 11. And we must bring everything else down exactly as we see it. Now within the brackets, there's nothing else that we can do, so now we have to look at the entire problem as a whole, and now we can move on to the next level in gems, which is E for exponents. Notice there's no exponents, so we move to the next level of multiplication division. Because the 3 is touching the bracket, that it does imply multiplication, and so 3 times 11 is 33. Bring everything else down exactly as you see it. Notice there's no more multiplication division, so we move to the last level, which is subtraction and addition. And so in order from left to right, we see 13 plus 33, which gives us 46. But we must bring down the minus 10. And now comes the last step. 46 minus 10 is 36, which is our simplified answer. Here are some try it problems for you. Take a moment now to do it. Hopefully for problem one, you got 30, and for problem two, you got 32. If you did not get those um, simplified answers, please contact your instructor.